What really happened to Dan Blocker a big man with a big heart? Little Joe might steal your heart with charm humor and good looks but it was hers the big shy gullible and lovable Cartwright brother who would sweep you away with his humility innocence and puppy dog sincerity. When 14 pounds at birth on the 12th of October 1928 in the town of Day called Bobby Dan Davis Blocker still holds the record as the largest baby born in Bowie County, Texas so in a way the beloved actor we know is Dan Blocker started life surrounded by an aura of fame. When Dan was young his parents Aura Shack Blocker and Mary Arizona Blocker moved to O'Donnell, Texas about 40 miles south of Lubbock where former farmer Shack as he was called managed to scrounge together enough money to open a grocery store after losing everything after the Great Depression. In the early years the family lived in the quarters at the back of the store and young Dan helped out carrying groceries to customers' cars among other tasks. According to one source his father used to kid around with friends saying he would pay them to hire Dan that because of the boy's size he was wrecking the store but his size would soon proved to be an advantage. At age 13 Dan enrolled in the Texas Military Institute where he was a linebacker on their football team. His skills on the gridiron earned him a scholarship to Sol Ross State University right was to play football and study English. At age 18 he said the 6 foot 3 inches and weighed nearly 300 pounds he would grow another inch and gain good deal more weight as he matured into adulthood. His size and athletic prowess may have gotten him a chance at an education but now it was going to change the course of his life in a way he never imagined. At one dot the drama club was staging arsenic and old lace and they needed a stage hand strong enough to move the heavy dummies used for the dead bodies in the production and Dan fit the bill he said it so well in fact they convinced him to play this small role of Teddy Brewster the delusional nephew of the murderous spinster aunt's protagonists in the play. Once he got a taste of being in the spotlight the audience response the feel of the stage Dan was hooked. He changed his major from English to fear. After graduation he reportedly turned down offers to play pro football and instead headed east to pursue his acting career on stage performing in summer stock repertory theatre shows and eventually landing a small role in the Broadway production of King Lear. Then Uncle Sam came calling and Dan went off to fight in the Korean War where he served with distinction earning a Purple Heart among several other medal citations and awards in 1952 the same year he was discharged from the U.S. Army having attained the rank of sergeant he married Dale C. A. Parker whom he met as a student at college. Now married he chose a responsible path in life Dan returned to college and received a master's degree in dramatic arts. After graduation with a young family to provide for them and they'll feel would eventually have four children twin daughters Deborah Ian Daniel and two boys David Denter. Dan took a job as a high school English and drama teacher in Sonora, Texas and later taught 6th grade in New Mexico it seems as if each move as a teacher was taking Dan West closer to his destiny. Dan settled into married life he loved teaching and enjoyed being around children he shared his passion for acting and language perhaps touching the lives of the kids he taught in ways you might never know by all accounts he had a heart of gold though occasionally quick tempered he was also quick to apologize and admit when he was wrong when he moved his family to California it wasn't because he sought stardom and the adoration of millions of fans he went to study for his PhD in dramatic arts at the University of California Los Angeles while he continued continued to teach. To help make ends meet in the mid-50s Dan began auditioning for television roles and was cast in bit parts in westerns which were popular at the time. This rekindled his love of acting transforming into different characters he appeared in several hit series among them Gunsmoke the Rifleman Have Guns Will Travel and Marriage. In which he was given a chance to display his gift for comedy he had a reoccurring role in the short-lived series San Marin City in 1958 the cancellation of that show might have seemed like a blow at the time but soon he would realize it was a gift because then he was available to take the role of a lifetime. Actor trying to break into Hollywood would have given anything to be in Dan's spirits but it wasn't until David Dark Hart nabbed him for the role of hospice heart rate in Bonanza Dan finally set aside his doctoral studies to becoming full-time actor and mainly because of the role was time-consuming and demand and there was little time for study. If Little Joe was the heartthrob of Bonanza House was the heartbeat and the very soul of the series The Middle Son of Wealthy Nevada where where and rancher Ben Cartwright Hills was not known for his intelligence unlike the actor who portrayed him he was awkward and shy around women he was easy to fall for a prank. 
but Dan brought to life a character filled with love and compassion and hers was a favorite of viewers especially the younger audience who could relate to his love for children indeed hers was somewhat childlike himself one trait Dan and Huss had in common was a strong desire to fight for social justice. Dan played the beloved character Huss motivated by this quote by the 18th century French-born American Quaker missionary Stephen Grayling. We shall pass this way on earth but once if there is any kindness we can show or good act we can do let us do it now for we will never pass this way again. During his years on set Dan became good friends with Lauren Green and Michael Landon his TV family was just like a real family they were together from 7 o'clock a.m. to 9 p.m. five days a week during the season and often socialized off the set. Dan was best man at Michael Landon's wedding to listen now. No the shooting schedule of Bonanza took out most of his time Dan did manage to appear in several movies most notably Come Blow Your Horn in Lardy in Cement both the Frank Sinatra Dan had long moved his parents to California to be closer to him but the little town of O'Donnell didn't forget their doctor son. His stardom on Bonanza made him the darling of his friends and neighbors back in O'Donnell, Texas they had a good laugh remembering the studious young boy whose nose was usually in a book now on the back of a horse galloping into their living rooms every Sunday night. On the 13th of May 1972 Dan answered a Los Angeles hospital for a simple gallbladder surgery. Nobody could have anticipated anything but a successful recovery and a return to another successful season of Bonanza but a blood clot in his lung changed everything Dan Blocker died leaving behind a grieving wife and four children a devastated cast especially best friends Michael Landon and Lon Green and he stunned the nation Dan Blocker was just 43 and at the peak of his career. Today the grocery store where Dan swept floors stocked shelves in carry bags out for customers is boarded up but the name blocker still exists in bold letters and a large yellow silhouette of a 10-gallon cowboy hat is painted with the entrance would be. A room in the O'Donnell Heritage Museum is dedicated to his memorabilia and nearby a small lot in Courtyard Square has been converted to a memorial garden featuring a monument dedicated to the memory of dance in the form of a life-size bust created by sculptor Glenny Goodacre. The commission portrait was installed in 1973. In life Dan was an ordinary guy a family man who doted on his children loved his wife and was loyal to his friends. He worked hard and stood up for his beliefs. He was dedicated to the craft of acting but a realist he also knew he needed to provide for Dorothea and their children. He was a star living in Hollywood but he didn't live an ostentatious life not even in death he's buried in an unassuming grave in a plain family plot in Woodland Cemetery in the Call, Texas the family marker reads simply blocker. Is in brownstone is relatively small and could easily be missed in the surrounding patches of grass and dry earth good by the big man with a big heart Dan Blocker.